Why does the E stand for? <laughs> it's Project Spice back in again in another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a sonic screwdriver display stand so you can obviously display your sonic screwdrivers in. Um, this stuff is made out from the same material. You know how you get Xbox and you get the Xbox wrapped around with this foam? Well, what you need is that type of foam and at least the the uh, little pads on the sides that goes on the Xbox, you know, for when you unbox it, um, so you can actually make a stand. It's pretty easy, it doesn't take long at all, although this one is uh, like Blue Peter, so the glue's still dry and I've used PV instead of that glue, it's stupid. Um, so this one is for the 12 Doctor's second screwdriver, so it will stand up. I've still got the hole to widen up a bit, it's just... There you go, and it, it's very stable, and it's easy for whoever wants to use it. Um, but if you guys have the 9th and 10th Doctor screwdriver, um, I'm going to be making a display stand for that, which can hold this as well. That might just, yeah. I've still got wilding this up a bit, but I'm going to have to let the glue, uh, not the glue, the glue dry on this. Um, so, here's one that I've cut away earlier. If you can see an Xbox box right on top of there, that's where it came from. So what you want to do is, I'm going to take the pen from the bottom of this. In fact, I'm going to put that over there so I don't miss glues in it. Um, then what you want to do is put this to the side, you want to get a pair of scissors or Stanley knife, craft knife, whichever you're using, if you're going to use craft knife or Stanley knives or scissors be careful, uh, you want to cut straight like that, so it looks like a little weird shape, on the prototype model uh, I kind of messed up, but again, prototype. That near the window because the window's on. So the next thing you want to do is you want to you can shape it down if you want to add a bit of detail to it. I'm going to cut this down a bit because it's got this little jagged parts here. So I'm just gonna cut off about here. It's more or less straight. Don't really have to be. It's just so that you can either have it in the, you don't want it in the middle, you want it on the side. Um, which can act as a little leg. You can display it from that side, that side, whichever side you want it to be. So, for the time being you put that on top of there. You know, it's flush. What you want to do is you want to get your pen. And you want to stick that on there, then you want to get another pen and draw around it or roughly make a hole for it. So I'm going to use a pen. I'm going to roughly make the shape. Right. Add a little bit of an indent. So that's where the gap is where the screwdriver is going to sit. Um, next thing you want to do is you want at least something that's very um, sharp at the end. I'm going to use a bridle. I'm going to poke a hole. Just make sure you don't stab yourself. Just like that. Then you want again, you want to wind in it. I'm just going to use these, or you can use these, you know, scissors. You want to widen it so it's even. And it looks a bit like that. Then you want to get this so it'll. Should be able to flat it all out a bit. Then you're going to test it, see if it fits flush without wobbling. Not quite. So, I can use a Stanley knife if I so wish. Use, you can also use a file. I 
again, make sure. You can try and force this in to make the indent. It looks a bit like that. So I've still got to widen the hole. You can basically do this with cardboard as well, it's easy. I might do one out with cardboard, I've got enough for cardboard so I'll try it. I'm just going to double check, where is it over there? Do need to have a bit of work so I'm going to just get something wider. You can use a pencil or um, something that's really chunky, so you can use a glue stick. You can use anything as long as it works. Um, but I'm sure the majority of you, younger viewers, will have tools like me. So you're going to probably ask your dad to actually get it to the ship you want it. Or whoever you live with. Comfy. I'm just going to make sure. Still, just to make sure. And there you go. And all there's left to do now is you're going to get your PVA glue or whatever glue you're using I'm going to use PVA you want to do a little line along the bit where you want it to be glued just like so it's messed up if you don't know where to get PVA glue from you can, all, you can always get into craft shops or a store that's near you, maybe, I don't know. I'm just going to let that dry. And then, oh, hang on. I'm just going to pull that nigga window. Then, as I prepared one earlier, like Blue Peter, I'm going to put it on the table, and you can display a screwdriver hands free. Just like that. Easy. And that's all you can ever do if you want to get a sonic screwdriver display. Um, I'm going to make one out of cardboard. I've never actually done this before. Sheet of cardboard. I use that as a fan. Because it's hot over in the UK. It was thunder and lightning earlier. For once. Um, right. So, I'm going to make a Sonic screwdriver display for my War Doctor's Sonic screwdriver. So, I'm going to... Detective Doctor screwdriver! I'm joking. Don't need that hard either. <laughs> Someone's already done it before you. Gonna cut straight in the middle. I know I will probably use most of it. Cheapers. Ripping into two. That's my fan. So yeah. Now let's start bending it to like a box. In fact, I might have to cut that down a bit more, just to make sure. I don't want it to be too much, if you know what I mean, so I'm going to put it about here. It don't have to be too straight, but again, this is just a prototype. I've never actually done these. 
you can do a round one you can do any one you want and I'm just trying to think out the top of my head of how am I going to make this so I'm going to try this that was going to work here so I can bend it to make a little tray guess what's uneven I'll put that off in a minute um, so I'm just gonna eyeball this Try and do little squares. going to make this, I don't think. <laughs> Try it now. Nah, it's only even you have to have skill. But it looks something like that but a bit taller and then you just put a hole in the middle. I'm going to do one for the sake of it. Anywhere. These are loom bands, but I still use them to make stuff with, not bracelets. I suppose you could use the mans. Makes it easier instead of gluing it. Put that a bit more on Bit more in chairs. This is only a little Nate, go. Actually, that works as a stand. <laughs> Uneven, but hey. Stand that up and display it for your screwdrivers. Might actually just use that for the time being. It's kind of a bit bent, but hey. Um, so, yeah, that's the how to make your Sonic screwdriver display stands. Uh, is that one the one I. Sugar. What's this one? Is this the Capaldi? It's going to take a while to dry because of the sun. <laughs> What's that one? Is that the. Right, that's the Capaldi one. I'm going to try. I don't think I'll have to make one for the 13th Doctor Screwdriver. Oh, yeah. The Cat Trapped Entire Review version of it is on YouTube. Just type in the 13th Doctor's catch options version so screwdriver. Um, they're just testers, so I think they've probably got them sent to them because you can't even buy them yet. Um, but I am still going to be waiting. Mine's pre-ordered already, so I'll be getting mine the day it's been released properly and officially. So you guys can be notified. Right, I'm going to show you. I know it's not fully dry yet, but hey. It's going to... Put that on there. 
hands free. And there you go. And that's how you make a display for your screwdrivers. And in fact, you know the um, what I do with um, deodorant cans as well. I usually take the lids and I usually make little plimps for them as well. So you can display them like that. Display them like that. But this one's shaped for the twelfth doctor. This is my dummy one, which I put back together like that. And that one's just standing on top of my TARDIS. And there's a working one. So again, they are what I call little dis stands for. I've actually made one for me, destroyed Sonic. Destroyed. Fits perfect. So yeah, that's the Sonic Screwdriver displays. And if you want me to show you more of little ways to do them, then please let me know and I'll try and think of different ways to make them. Um, I might, in fact, make these more alien-like, you know, like it's the TARDIS or something. If you want me guys to do that, then I will. All you got to do is leave a like and also come down below that you um, subscribe and like. And also, I do have a shout-out for the... So Squirrel, his channel link will be linked in the description below. Don't forget to check it out. I'm going to go, and next week he should be having a review of the 13th Doctor's new Sonic Screwdriver. Um, and actually, the sound effects are different, but they are trying to copy it. They've got more functionality than the 720 version, but I'd like to get the 1220, but that's more expensive, and that's American. So, thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like, subscribe, and also turn the notification bell on as well. And you'll be notified when I next upload. Right, so Squirrel's channel, link to the description below. Don't forget to check it out. Actually, he does nothing on this channel, so... I'll do it anyways. Yeah, bye. If I can actually stop it.